Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Monday's Daily Bible Study, coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great and wonderful lesson for today. Our lesson for today is a prayer for renewal, a prayer for renewal. Amen. And we'll be talking about throughout this week, Hezekiah and uh, uh, the rallying of, his, of Judah's army. Amen. We're talking about King Hezekiah and him rallying the army together in prayer. Amen. And so we're going to get ready to move into our lesson, a prayer for renewal, come from Psalm 119, verses 33 through 40. Amen. But before we get started, I want to ask if anything is said touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together as a body in Christ, studying and meditating on the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to get ready to move into our lesson. But first, we're going to have prayer. Amen. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We thank you for making a way out of no way. We thank you for leading us and guiding us in your true path of righteousness. We thank you for all that you have done, you is doing, and you, sh and you shall do in each of our lives. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, for being with us and standing by us. We thank you, Father, for watching over us all night long and, and waking us up this morning with the finger of love, uh, uh, with fresh and new grace and mercy to each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you honor, glory, and praise, Father. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name for watching over us and guiding us and showing us the way. We thank you for being with us up and down the dangerous highway day and night, Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for raising us up early this morning and giving us activities, our limbs, our health and strength, and a mind to study and follow you, Father. In Jesus' name, Lord, we ask that as we get ready to go into your word, Father, that you would open our eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high as we study and meditate on your word. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready to move right into our lesson, A Prayer for Renewal. A Prayer for Renewal. Amen. This is a great and wonderful lesson that we're going to move into uh, having a few uh, technical difficulties right here uh, at this moment, but we're going to move right on into our lesson. We're not going to let anything stop us. Amen. Uh, um, as said, we, uh, scripture lesson uh, uh, verses 33 and 34 says, He teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. As we see here, we should pray for instructions. First of all, as students in the school of God, we should be eager to learn how to translate precept into practice and determine to obey his word to the end of our lives. We should pray for understanding it is important to have right view of the scriptures, of their meaning and obligations. How else can we follow him with undivided devotionness? Verses 35 and 36 says, Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. As we see, we should pray for guidance. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, and we know this. Uh, uh, so we want the Lord to guide our feet in the path of his will, because that is the only way in which we are truly happy. Amen. We should pray for spiritual rather than material enriching, enrichment. And as he said, as the scripture lesson in Matthew 6 and 33 says, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added. Godliness with contentment is great gain. First Timothy 6 and 6. It is a miracle of grace that takes the love of money from a man and replaces it with a love for the Bible. Verse 37 and 38 says, 
turn my eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise that you may be feared. Amen. As we said, we should pray for divine realities, not shadows, not things that's temporary. Here is God's con com commentary on TV. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things because those are things that are made up or added to and most of the things that's on there many times, they, they, they done stretched it and pulled it to the point of no return that it, 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 it never comes out to com the complete truth. TV depicts a never, never land a world that doesn't exist. God's world where it deals with life as it really is. We should pray for God to establish his promise in our eyes and in our thoughts and in our minds. All the rivers of thy grace I claim. Over every promise, write my name. Our claim to his promise lies in the fact that we fear him. Amen. Verse 39 and 40 says, turn away the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. Behold, I long for your precepts and your righteousness give me life. We should pray to be kept from reproach from anything that would bring shame or dishonor on the name of the Lord Jesus. His judgments are good. We need to follow them faithfully. We should pray for personal revival, the revival that we have uh, a willingness to run for Jesus uh, until the end, that we regain any fervor that we have lost in our spiritual walk with him. It said, the, the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water. Isaiah 35 and 7, as we burn and long for his precepts, he will revive us in his righteousness. Amen, amen. This is such a wonderful and great and powerful lesson. Amen, I pray you meditate on this lesson. Also, I would like to ask if you would subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together as a body of Christ, studying and meditating on the word of the Lord. Amen. Have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless you.